It had been up and running for decades, feeding, clothing, and giving a safe place to sleep for thousands of migrants. But tonight, their doors in Matamoros are closed. In tonight's special report series, Death or Detention, News Center 23's Derek Garcia is going to Mexico as a shelter prepares to close. At an international bridge between Brownsville, Texas and Matamoros, Tamaulipas, are asylum seekers waiting to cross into the United States. I'm joining humanitarian aid volunteers Brendan Tucker and Andrea Rudnick. Oh, hey, they They're bringing with them hand warmers and food. Many have traveled far and wide. Our trip at the port of entry is short. We go on a 25-minute ride to Casa de Migrantes. Juan Antonio Sierra Vargas is in charge of the temporary shelter for migrants heading north and those who have been deported. Men, women and children are given a meal, clothing and a place to sleep. It's a better arrangement than what New Center 23 had previously reported earlier this year, as asylum seekers were sleeping at a port of entry waiting to be called upon. The director here, he went, didn't like what he saw, saw what we were seeing and he pretty much invited them to come and stay at Casa de Migrantes and he was going to collaborate with Mexican immigration. Same amount of people are getting across except now there's a steady amount of 15. The numbers are staggering. Feeding on average 1,500 people a month is hard on a shoestring budget. Juan and Andrea explain the struggles the shelter faces. Crash of people, people going for the American dream, going the other way, asking for asylum, and then people being deported from the United States back into Mexico. Tamaulipas state government funding does cover some of the bills, but it's not enough. The church and private donations keep the lights on, but repairs are needed to broken shower heads and toilets. It's a tough decision, food or facilities. So they feel the full effect of things that are happening in the United States, but yet nobody from the United States is saying, well, here, we'll help you out because we did this. We did this basically to you. This is why these people are, these people are coming to be in the United States and they're going because you kicked them out of the United States. On the Texas-Mexico border, Derek Garcia, KBEO, News Center 23. News Center 23 has confirmed with aid relief. The shelter has closed temporarily, meaning some families are on the streets tonight. Tomorrow, Tucker and Rudnick will continue to provide help across the border and in Brownsville.